whole state school system has really kind of like brought out the worst of my ADD because like I don't take Adderall for like four weeks at a time and I'll take large amounts of it for like three days in a row and cram. I kind of liken it to, if you think about these drugs, what they really are, they're academic steroids. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, some people would do better, but really they're dangerous and they shouldn't be and they are getting an un uh, sort of unfair advantage um, over some other people who maybe are not taking these drugs illegally. There's like a lot of gray area, I feel like. And some <laughs> kids like, some kids like have AD and they don't know it and some kids are prescribed Adderall and they don't have AD. And now it's like, it's like really hard to get a prescription at UHS for Adderall for like obvious reasons. We know it, I mean, there are very significant potential side effects, but a lot of people who take these medications would perform better academically taking them than not. However, that doesn't mean that the, the, they should be used. So the biggest side effects, um, well, I'd say the most common things we can see are insomnia. You know, they stimulate you so you can't get to sleep. Um, cardiac issues, like it can make your heart race. If you have a pre-existing cardiac condition, it could be dangerous. If you mix it with other substances like alcohol or other prescription drugs, it can be even more um, dangerous for cardiac reasons. And one of the big things is anxiety. So we see a lot of people um, who end up taking Adderall having worsening anxiety, panic attacks. And then because like Adderall is good for memorizing stuff like short term, but it's really like not, if you really want to learn the stuff, it's like not really the best, it's not really the most effective way to actually learn. I don't, I've never done this, but like kids take it to like drink also. Like, it's like there's definitely a big drinking culture here and some kids like, if they want to drink all day and they want to drink all night, like on a Saturday, mm -hmm. it's definitely common for kids to like take an Adderall to like get everything juicing and going. Mm -hmm. That's when these medications get really dangerous is when mm -hmm. you start to mix things together. The mix of alcohol or Xanax or any other meds, it's going to make that cardiac risk worse. So you're going to want to make sure that you're not mixing these stimulants with anything else because it's just going to worsen and amplify your risk. Where we're coming into contact with prescription drugs, um, there's something else that's drawn us to that, that location, whether it's um, a student detox conveyance, a report of marijuana odor coming out of a dorm room, something of that nature, um, and we either find that the person has illegal prescription drugs with them or they, they self-admit highest number of cases um, dealing with this type of topic or definitely alcohol cases. Um, and it's really hard to know when a person has consumed Adderall, if they're just a, a consumer of it, they don't have a prescription. Um, you know, it's not like alcohol where you can smell it on their breath or like marijuana where you can smell it in the room. So a lot of times we're, we're not able to detect those types of, uh, those types of drugs. Uh, and one of the issues that that I, I think is most concerning is that where we find things like Adderall, we're also finding LSD, we're finding marijuana, we're finding cocaine. Contacts that the UW-Madison Police Department has are all forwarded to, to the Division of Student Life and they may require students to do various things, uh, whether that's to seek alcohol or drug treatment, um, you know, attend the basics program, that kind of stuff. data, I would say, yes, we do have a problem because it's, it's more prominent. Um, and I'd say anecdotally, I hear people saying, oh, yes, I one time took my roommate's medication, or you can go to the library and obtain this. So I think from that information, we see it as a problem. But um, as far as turning up of people who seek mental health treatment at UHS, it's actually kind of rare. There are barriers to getting treatment, multiple barriers. One, there's a huge stigma for, for seeking substance abuse treatment. So. Um, whether people, one, either don't know they have a problem or don't know all the risks that they're taking by their use, or if they are starting to see problems, taking, being able to overcome some of those barriers and that stigma to get treatment is actually quite a big hurdle.